Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So you have the root chakra, the, the fourth chakra, the fifth, I'm sorry. Your root chakra be, you know, the throat chakra, the heart chakra, and the crown. So this has the, you know, this is your stability, your security, um, family, friends, just all of, of those things. You know, th this is a, whatever is happening in the background, and we know about the the various attacks and everything else, this is all just a part of your ascension is what this is really. It's no other way to see this. This is someone going through a major ascension and you may be very, very tired, but the 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 best way to really ascend in times like this is for you to understand the importance of you surrendering um you're gonna have to surrender at this time because there's really not much that you can do about the various situations at hand that are being presented to you in your life i mean you can protect yourself of course but these are things i feel that are just they're written whatever is happening now it has to happen and it has to happen this way. So again, like I said, with the firm foundation, that's that root energy. You may be feeling like you're on the brink of collapsing sometimes because for one, you, you're going to have to understand the importance of you speaking up and speaking out um, when it comes to your own truth. So this could be, like I said, um, you could want to relocate. You could want to start a new job. You could want to um, and a relationship, go through with a divorce, start a business. These are major endings and new beginnings here where it's a huge disconnect between the heart and the mind. And for some people, your heart and your mind is in sync, but there's um, an issue with acceptance. There's an issue with recognizing that or accepting that what perhaps you've been taught that you should want or even what you thought you wanted for so long is not actually what you want. And then that requires that you go perhaps and you completely just uproot your the firm foundation that you built in order to have something brand new. This is something that it does. It requires a lot of patience. But this transformation is going to lead you to a brand new beginning. And I'm so sorry because I said that this was the root chakra. In this particular deck, this is not the root chakra card because this is the root chakra, but it's still here. Base chakra, and then underneath it is heart. What is this? Heartache and loss. So something in your foundation is disappointing. Something in your family. Some of you are carrying the burden also of like ancestral trauma. You know, being the chosen one, people, they, 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 glorify it but nobody it's very difficult you know to be that person that every single family hex or curse you're the one that has to fight it and oftentimes you know you're looking at your life and you don't understand why you're going through these battles and it's because you were the one that was chosen to fight and it can feel like a gift and a curse it doesn't always feel fair but it's what has to be done this firm foundation card in this particular deck on this is actually the um the four of pentacles so again the four of pentacles though it speaks of you could be having issues with your finances or there's a need for you to hold back and really assess and evaluate what you have in order to build a firm foundation the four of pentacles can to me speak of also of course lack um you may be feeling like you're lacking what you need to move forward um and this, for some of you, what I want to say from what I'm getting here, because I sat here for a long time before I turned the camera on, just sitting with my the, the visions and, and everything. But what you need to really see right now is that these attacks, your enemy is attacking you. They're testing you and trying you, but it's constantly leading you to the truth. You need these various things sometimes to trigger you, to force you to have this, this undoing within yourself so that you can actually build a new firm foundation. So you're, you're coming into awareness about who you truly are because these situations 
they they're triggering um they're triggering you to open up to a, a, a spiritual side of yourself so that you can actually survive. But you have situations that are at the same time, it's forcing you out of survival mode because a lot of people, if you are having these issues within, especially like your family and your foundation, heart chakra, crown chakra, this is on your mind nonstop, right? 1144, you are protected these are illusions though and i have to be honest for a lot of you this stuff is happening in the subconscious and the reason why it's being brought out is because you are being spiritually attacked and it may sound very crazy to be like oh well you should be thankful for those spiritual attacks but in a way most people don't have this awakening until they experience some type of attack or um, a certain experience these experiences that you have to go through right now it's forcing you to become more awakened and aware because it's easy to go through life and think that everything is okay or to be blind but then when you become conscious and awakened you will see what is happening behind the veil you will recognize the people and the various entities in your life that are trying to hold you back and I just see, it, it was the, the, vid, the vision that I saw earlier, it literally brought me to tears. I won't even lie because, you know, I, I picked up the other day, like these different sacrificial rituals that's happening. And these things are real. They're true. Whether you've seen them before or not, it's not the kind of stuff that the average person is going to talk about, you know, during lunch um, or in the Starbucks line, but it's absolutely happening. And I could just see like this, this woman and the, the woman that in my vision of like her body was just limp. It, it was almost as if she was nearly lifeless, but she had like this, all of this light around her. And I, I just feel like, you know, that could be divine feminine mask. It could be a male or female or whomever, but in my vision, it was a female. And I feel that a lot of, especially the divine feminine collective is just tired. You're like I said, you're on the brink of collapsing. But I did, there was a man that came through and he like picked this, this person up, but she literally looked lifeless. Um, so again, it's like, just hold on when you're going home. Like there's going to be some type of help or assistance. It's already here. You just have to stay faithful in knowing that you're going to receive it. Um, but you were put out there on the battlefield because you're strong enough to handle it. And, you know... For some, it's going to push you into um, deeper healing. You know, the healing journey, it never stops. But it's like you tackle something really big in your life. And now it's like it's, it's preparing you now to heal more within yourself. Yeah, it, more strength is here to a sword. So whatever stalemate, stagnant energy that you've been in, or just an energy where you've been blinded by the truth, it's like for some of you too, with this spiritual awakening, you're going to get much closer to your guides. You could have some kind of spiritual gift that's going to come um, through this time. You you may become um, more of a seer. Your spiritual eyes may um, open up more. You may um, become like clear audience because you're going to start actually hearing things for some of you. Some of you, maybe you, you've been able to see you're going to start actually hearing your guides um, communicate with you more or in some different type of way. So whatever is happening right right now, it's amplifying the gifts that you already have or you're about to learn about certain gifts that you have. Five of Pentacles, though. There has been, like, of course, some rejection, some abandonment. Um financial constraints and other things that have been working against you and it's really sad but for some of you a lot of this stuff it has been sent to you it's the energy that's being projected onto you from people around you but there have been a lot of spiritual attacks i feel a lot of people lately you've been under the type of spiritual attack where you've been attacked on on every single end possible and it's just to see how far can you go but the ace of wands is here there is a passionate new beginning. There is, like I said, this awakened 
consciousness, um, awareness that, that you're coming into now. And it's going to lead you to the Ten of Cups. So, you, you know, whatever fight this is, you're not fighting in vain. Something here is about to manifest in your life. But you first had to get this. You had to earn your stripes first. A lot of freedom and liberation and wish fulfillment and happiness is coming after a lot of betrayal. A lot of very harsh endings happening in your life, for sure. You're going to move forward and be victorious. Some of you, you definitely have a huge financial uh, blessing coming for you. There's going to be some type of windfall of abundance, and this is going to happen quickly. You may need to travel, or some of you may be thinking about relocating, but you're quickly moving on to peaceful, calmer waters. It's like as soon as whatever this blockage is, it's clear you're going to get some type of insight and awareness. Um, there could be an idea. There's this um, refinement that's happening. Whatever your ideas are that need you know, ref to be re refined in any kind of way. Also, it's just like your spiritual gifts are sharpening. This would be, to me, it looks like the third chakra, third eye, and um, like your crown. Like I said, your signs, your symbols, your synchronicities, your spiritual eyes are going to be open where you're going to see something clearly here. There's a missing piece to something in your life. That you're going to finally understand. For some of you, it's simply you stepping into um, understanding that you truly are perhaps spiritually gifted in some way. And let me make it clear, you don't have to use your spiritual and psychic gifts for anybody else. Those gifts are there for you to be able to navigate throughout your own life to grow, to heal, and to ascend. If you choose to help others, that's your business. But nobody is saying that because you have spiritual and or psychic gifts or abilities that you are required to use it for the collective. That's for you. And I think that nowadays, because of how the spiritual community has become such a popular topic for so many people, um, people are already like exploiting a lot of things when it comes to having spiritual and psychic gifts like nowadays it's like as soon as a person realizes that they have a gift and they want to read tarot or they want to do herbs or you know they want to do something somehow to make money off of it um and that's not the case there's a lot of people out here who are medicine men medicine women they're healers and it truly is their purpose and their calling for some people it is your purpose or your calling but Again, it's it's up to you if you choose to share that with other people. So don't feel don't feel like you have to put the weight of the world on your back because a lot of you you've already inherited so much karma from your family that you're still just trying to see the light of day for yourself. You don't have to continue to live or act as if you are a martyr for your family or for the collective of people. Because I feel like somebody out here is overworking and stressing themselves, trying to show up for everything or for everyone else. And that may not be where you're supposed to be in this particular season. Because, And I'll, I'll say for myself, some, the healer has to still heal. I feel like the people that I may be talking to right now are a lot of people who are already very much awakened and aware, but you are ascending even higher. You have to understand that the healer still needs healing. The teacher still has to continue to learn to become a master. There is a bridge here between, like your, like I said, again, like your lower and upper chakras. Your, your earthly body and your spiritual body, there's healing. There's a need to take... So Mercury Retrograde is going to really do what it needs to do. You need to take some time to really see who, who are you? How did you come to this place? And where exactly are you going? But there is something here, most likely in the background, that someone is needing to recognize is an issue so that you can heal it once and for all. There's something, there's a skeleton in your closet that needs to be healed. The lovers, wow. The high priestess. Two of wands and the ten of wands. 
some of you, this has a lot to do with heartbreak. There's a heartbreaking situation from your past and it lingers in the back of your mind constantly. And this does not have to be a romantic partner. This could be a heartbreaking situation with a family member. It could be the loss of, of a best friend, but it's something here and it's living rent free in your mind. And I've said this before, sometimes your your own pain can manifest as it, it can become, you can have pain that runs so deep that it will manifest into an actual entity that will attack you. Let me say that again. You can carry pain that is so deep that it will manifest into an actual entity that will begin to attack you. This could be your pain. This could be ancestral trauma, family issues that you're carrying there is a pain that runs so deep within some people and you've done such a good job of masking it trying to still help other people but you're gonna have to actually go back and figure out what is there that needs to be released because it's something in your subconscious mind that's not allowing you to fully see yourself or your future because you have this this beautiful opportunity or new beginning this new contract where there is financial abundance for some of course there is love but here you are and you're still sort of in this stagnant complacent energy this complacent energy here it's fear and it comes from something here that you have not fully released and it's something that you keep a secret with the high priestess here it's a secret You're going to have to let yourself, you, you got to free yourself from this. This is some type of secret that's a, a, a disappointment that has become a distraction. Yeah. Somebody here is still upset that maybe they had to walk away from something and it ended. So, you know, I could I could think of a million different things. This could be some people have gone through a divorce. You, you know, are, are not having a difficult, where you're having a difficult time accepting that something is over. You could be having a difficult time with accepting that someone has transitioned or, you know, you've had to go through a divorce or there's a loss here. There's something here that is a, that is a loss. But a lot of you, I don't feel like this is necessarily a transition. It's a spiritual transition that has happened where there is something that you were so tied to or connected to that has had to finally end and it was something that was lingering in your shadows this is like for some of you you come into the realization that you really did you love the devil at some point it's a friend a family member a lover somebody who was always lurking in the shadows very shady sneaky conniving this person has been causing endings in your life and i think that maybe you're coming to realize that you have to walk away from something here because maybe you were unknowingly you've been drinking poison so right now here's the the hermit card and the hierophant this is a time for you to, like i said for sure get closer to god to your spiritual team and and really go within and try to heal and see this situation for what it truly is it's there's some type of pain here that was used to push you into your purpose and you're gonna have to accept that um this is a heavy heavy betrayal here and i can feel how low the energy is this is you know People are saying, you know, God, show me the truth, show me the truth, show me the truth. And then when you get the truth, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to know that this person that you loved or this project that you put so much into, it was it was tied to something so dark. And now you're forced to walk away from it. And, I, and for some reason, it seems like whatever this is that I'm reading for a lot of you, it's something that's pretty personal um, because I'm, I'm not being led really. to. I'm seeing a lot of different things, but there's really no need to 
dive into all of it because a lot of you, you already know what this is. This is something, and whatever it is, it's something that you keep very close to your chest. But you need to really go to God about this. Yeah, at the bottom of this deck, look, Ten of Swords. It's a betrayal here. A real bad betrayal. Somebody came to you while you were in your healing journey. Minding your own business. Possibly happy, self-sufficient, abundant. And they betrayed you. And this now is causing a lot of pain, suffering, and anxiety. Yeah. Someone came to you or someone was sent to you to really hurt you. Something was placed on your path. But you have to still see it from the the viewpoint from a higher perspective. Whatever this is, you're going to defeat it or you've already had to defeat this. And I know looking at the situation is hard, but at least now you see the truth and you can celebrate. You, this is deep. What, what, whatever, this is something close to somebody. I just see like now, you know, you know exactly who the snake is in your life. You know, you know, you know without a doubt who it is and it's hurtful. But this breakthrough, again, look, four wands, this breakthrough is going to allow you to finally celebrate. You're going to move quickly into a time of having love and celebrating after this heartbreak. Somebody came in and what they were hoping was that you would manifest burdens. Somebody came in and they, 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 somebody has, has cursed somebody out here for sure. A divine feminine. This person wanted to make sure that you had heartbreak. That all you would manifest will be burdens because you are an empress. And for many of you, you're very close to God or you're getting much closer to going into a union. Nine of cups, having wish fulfillment. The six of wands, you know, being publicly recognized, receiving rewards, recognition, possibly traveling, um, just moving on a peaceful, calm water. Somebody did not want that to happen for you. They wanted to hold you back from having this type of balance in your life. And it's like you've been fighting for your life. You've been fighting for a new opportunity. Whatever this is, I don't know why. This just makes me so... It's like you see it in the readings. But today, it's like whatever this is, it hits real different. You see it all the time. You know, the karmic this or this person that, blah, blah, blah. But there is an awareness here. And see, that's what I'm talking about. The, the gift and the curse of sight. A lot of people want to see. I want to see. I want to know. You better make sure you're prepared because these spiritual eyes, once they open and you see the truth, you will never, ever unsee it. And once you see the truth about things, you then are forced to take certain actions. The actions that you've always been afraid to take, for instance, the action of you permanently walking away from a person, place, thing or situation. Because your spiritual eyes, they're not going to let you turn your cheek to something anymore. This harsh, harsh truth is causing a tower. To see, wow, look at this, man. Somebody literally has been working on in the background, trying to end everything in your life. And they've had help doing this. This person have, has gone to plenty of people to help them to sabotage your life. 
in hopes that you will constantly have to start over, that you will be confused and you will have to just keep starting over and over and over again. This could be someone from your past who wanted to celebrate with you, but you walked away from them and decided to master yourself. And it's very unfair because a lot of you, you've gone through this and you've become this incredible person. But for some reason, it's like you're still hiding your light. A lot of you, there's things in your past or people from your past, especially who have done things to you and you still don't feel safe to, sh to share your light. Because this situation, it doesn't ever truly feel like it's over to you. Because some whoever is doing this type of stuff to you, they do it over and over and over again. They, they It's like as soon as you get towards the star, wish fulfillment, happiness, your emotions and everything is intact. This person, they come in, boom, and they want you, sit, they want you flat on your back. This is someone who does not want you to heal at all. They do not want you to heal and be able to go towards the Emperor and the Ten of Cups. This is so sad. And I'm, I'm whoever this is is somebody who is close to you. Somebody who you were, you respected this person, you honored this person. It could be a lover for some of you. It's a parent. If someone, it's definitely somebody like in your. I don't know. For it's different for everybody. It could be a, an ex friend, family member, lover. For some of you, unfortunately, it's it's all of the above. But it's like people have come together in groups. It's like a hate crime against you. Like it, just this this idea of you having this happy life. Somebody is just doing. I mean everything, everything to make sure you don't have it. And you knew that. But the reason why it's so different now is because you know exactly who's doing it. Or you're about to find out. You know, you just imagine like you being around somebody and you're like, yeah, somebody's stealing from me. Somebody's stealing from me. And they're talking to you like, yeah, you know, we need to help figure out. And you find out that it's them. This is somebody that you've confided in. You thought you could trust this person. Wow. But again, like I said, the good thing is that at least now you know for sure. You can stop dealing with this person. You can stop working with this person. You can stop hoping to reunite with this person. You know, this this could be a friend, somebody that you're hanging out with, trying to collaborate with or whatever. I don't know, but. Let me see something. This is definitely somebody you you celebrated and traveled with this person. Look at the Empress and the King of Wands. See this Empress, you're you're fully in your power, and there's this King of Wands here. Somebody does not like the fact that you're in your power, in your light. They don't like this. Your your level up it bothers this person really bad. And you're being presented with some beautiful offer very soon. Yeah, from people who love you, your soul family, your soul tribe. And it's wish fulfillment, it's happiness, it's healing. After a period of, of great self-mastery. Tell me about what this is. I don't know why this is seems so sad. King of Cups. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a, for some of you, it's a lover. You chose a different path. Yep. Gemini, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Capricorn here, the Devil card, and the Hierophant. Somebody here has been working in the dark. 
against you. This person, this person came into your life with the intention to destroy you. It's what they were sent in to do. Page of Wands. Yeah. And this person is ruthless. Watching, stalking, constantly spying. The chariot. This person had a plan. It's not, this person was, their plan was to sabotage your destiny. But look, it's not happening. And now whatever they sent out is coming back. And look, the same king. Remember just a minute ago, we had the king of cups and the devil. This devil has been caught. King of cups, the devil. This is somebody here who has Scorpio and Capricorn heavily aspected in their chart. But the death card is here with the towel underneath. You will receive justice for this. This person has been caught. Spiritually, energetically, this person has been caught. I don't know what it looks like in the 3D right now, but I can tell you for sure. Your entire spirit team, they want this person. And they want this person bad. I'm hearing somebody say, I won't rest until I get this person. This The same thing that this person wanted for you is it's guaranteed to happen to them. There's no way around it. This person, they think that they're protecting themselves. But no, they, they will not be protected from this. God saw everything that this person did as well as your ancestors. This could be a divine masculine, but God and these high-ranking angels, guys, ancestors, ascended masters, or your divine masculine, everybody saw in the spirit what this person did to you to try to destroy you. Everybody saw it. And this idiot here is constantly trying to put up a fight or act as if like nothing is going to happen. This person is in for a very rude awakening. And I, I'm telling you, this person right now, they may be celebrating, laughing now, but I'm telling you, whatever their fate is, they're going to be led. They're going to be led right on to whatever this, this karmic, um, karmic justice is for you yeah this person man this is sad this is really sad this person look at this judgment twice i'm telling you they can't get out of this judgment twice and the star you will absolutely be vindicated for this this is happening very soon if it's not happening right now because i'm telling you like the way i feel it's just so Heavy, like what? Today, I think today is Friday. You may find out something about this person over the weekend. You can rest, you can chill. And if you're in hiding right now, don't be in hiding because I'm telling you, whoever this person is, is in your life, this lingering in the shadows, trying to cause issues for you. This person wants you to be scared and paranoid constantly. But no, you don't have to live like that because I'm telling you, whatever this person has been doing, this person is going to be eliminated and you're going to know because you're going to be able to go out. You're going to feel free. You're not going to be paranoid or anything. Every single thing that this person has done in the background to try and cause any type of issues, obstacles or challenges for you, they're going to get it back. Yeah, look. This is spirit saying, yeah, we're coming back to give you your, you, you're going to get your stuff back. This person stole something from you. Your time, your effort, your energy, they stole something. And now it's all out of control. Heavy Capricorn energy or Taurus. Capricorn, Taurus. This person stole something from you. They were greedy. They wanted something so bad. They got it and they don't even know what to do with it. Something was supposed to be yours. And this person was so 
fixated on taking something from you. But see, now this person, they're realizing you tried to steal something from a high priestess. Now they're somewhere sitting back. Trust me, whoever this is, they are afraid. Because they know they messed up. They're afraid because, see, justice is here. Justice comes tonight for this person. Justice is here. This person already knows. Trust me, whoever did this to you, they know that they, they're at the end of the road here. Their, their well has run dry. This person knows. Justice. You had double justice and double judgment. There's no way they can get out of this. No way. This person did not want you to be seen as an empress. This person constantly did illusions and confusion spells and different things on you so that when you looked at yourself, you wouldn't recognize who you actually were. And they did this to try and get you to put your guard down. They tried to create some kind of illusion so that you will put your, your guard down and it will be easier for them to attack you. Yep, look at that. Now this person, they trying to stop this tower from hitting. Oh no. The tower hits because whatever you're supposed to have, as soon as you get it, or it's, it's when they recognize that whatever is yours, they couldn't successfully steal it. They already know. Time is up. Yeah, this person, whatever, the, this is some kind of energy or something. This person, they're trying to hold on to something for dear life. And it doesn't even belong to them. This person has, they've stolen something from you. Yeah, the fool. This cycle is closing out. And you are going to get to be exactly who you are, what you're, who you're meant to be, and live your life. Trust me, this person, they can't hold on to... Uh, look, I just want you guys to see, and for some of you, this could have something to do with like a twin flame situation, because I'm seeing doubles. Here is the world card twice. The judgment card came out together, and justice came out together. Double justice. The world is out here twice. The wheel is it just recently came out twice too. Yeah. Whoever this is, I'm I'm telling you, like this is this is just it's not bad. It's karmic justice. This person will be punished to the fullest extent of karmic justice. And yeah, here's judgment twice. Judgment twice. Justice twice. The world twice. And look at this person. Whatever they sent out is going back tenfold. Temperance. Strength. You're an earth angel and this person came in and decided to attack you. Now temperance is out here twice. You was minding your business and this person decided to attack you. And this was a ma this was a major attack. The temperance is here again. Somebody here has been using some type of ancient knowledge, wisdom, shape shifting. They did a lot to try and get get whatever they thought they wanted. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. This person, they should have left you alone. You see how his back is turned? This person, they really should have just stopped and left you alone, but they didn't. But see, it's too late because Archangel Michael is like, yeah, but we saw it. Archangel Michael said, we saw everything that they did behind the veil. And now they're allowing you to see everything that they did in the background. Look at this person. 
This person here was trying to hold on to your energy because they don't want you to grow and ascend to be the star that you truly are. Once again, this is a this is an earth sign. And they are about to be in a rude awakening because you still here free, living your best life. They all understand. And it's because you put up some boundaries when it came to being in a relationship with this person. You don't want to be in a relationship with this person. So they decided that they were going to attack you, hex you, curse you. But this person, I mean, they, they went, they went really, really far with whatever they chose to do. And it's all because you didn't say or do what they wanted you to do. So they decided that they were going to attack you. This person is like, you're, they feel like they're going to make you pay a lesson. You're going to pay, you're going to pay for something like, yeah. You don't want to be married to this person. You don't want a life with this person. You don't want to share your money with this person. You put up a guard because you could see that this person was low vibrational, demonic, and you didn't want anything to do with them. So you moved away from them. You could see <laughs> underneath it all that this person was causing you delays. They're karmic. They're causing you delays. They they are stunting your growth and, and not allowing you to actually ascend. So you freed yourself and you decided to soul search and heal. And this person decided once again, King of Pentacles again. This person said, no, I want you stuck and bound. This is for sure an earth sign doing this. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This person has earth and water in their chart. They come off like a fire sign. Now it could be different for everyone, but what I'm what I'm reading, this person here has been on the outside looking into your life constantly and projecting all kind of energy with you. This person keeps a wand in their hand. They've been projecting negative stuff onto you constantly because they don't want you to go into a new relationship. You made a decision to find yeah, you made a decision. Look at judgment and justice again. Y'all, whatever this is, somebody could possibly be going to jail. Judgment and justice, the way it's coming out in this reading together, it has come out together like four different times. And for whatever reason, and I never do this, I'm using one, two, three, three different decks. And judgment and justice have come out together every single time. The decision has been made that you must receive justice in this situation. I don't know what this person did. But they did, they, they, they went way too far. I don't know who this person paid or what they did, but I'm feeling so strongly in the way my energy is so low. This person wanted your life. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This person was willing to do anything to get rid of you because you don't want to be with them. You want to give them your money. You wouldn't be with them or whatever. So it's, it's get, you know, if, if I can't have you, nobody can have you. This person is like trying to force you to conform in some way. This is so sad. Death, coughing. First card out, coughing. Great fortune and imprisonment. This person has to pay for trying to steal your great fortune. Whether they go to jail or hell, they have to pay for this. For a lot of you, this was a lover. Yep, a false lover. You thought this person was an official person. They were false. I have chills all over me. Black male, this person can be trying to dig up dirt on you, find the skeletons in your closet. This person is hating on your creative ideas. Mm -mm -mm. This is so sick. Your closest friends hold grudges against you. This could be a friend or you and this person if you were in a relationship, you have mutual friends.
your significant other is sending you negativity. Yep. I'm telling you, this is a lover, a friend, jealous of your material lifestyle, your home, your cars, your clothes, glamour magic, energy vampire. The person causing you negativity is an earth sign. When shit hits the fan, this person will be ghost. I told y'all, it's an earth sign. This is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy Taurus and Capricorn. I'm not getting Virgo energy. This person has to face judgment. And their judgment will be either jail or death, if not, or possibly both. This person stole a great fortune or they tried to steal your great fortune. They've stolen something from you before and they came in to steal even more. So it's like greed is going to lead this person straight into their grave. And this is going to hurt. Because you never would have, you, you never would have imagined that it would be this. You'll know though. Because it's something that's about to happen around you that you're going to find out. And when you find out, you're going to know. Oh, yeah. That person, whatever happened to that person, that's the karma for what they did to me. You're going to know. That's exactly. When, when you hear the news, you're going to be like, wow. That person is not here anymore because of what they did to me. That person is in jail right now because of what they did to me. You don't know. 100%. There's there's no way this can, this will not be something that you have to wonder about. It won't be. No, no denying. You're going to know. And that's probably the reason why, even for me, like, tapping into this energy, it's the knowing. You know, like I said, it's. You always know certain things, but it's, something is about to be confirmed for you. And to be honest with you, I just want to prepare some, some of you. You are going to lose somebody fairly close to you. There will be a death. You will be heartbroken, but you're going to have to keep on pushing on. It was going to either be you or them. And they was willing to put you on the chopping block. You never did anything to this person. But since they put you on the chopping block, it's going to be you or them. According to the scales of justice, it has to be them. You were innocent. They were not. For some of you, Sue, I have to just say, if this has already happened to you, for some of you, if you've dealt with some type of situation like this, especially if someone has transitioned or someone is currently um, in jail, if this situation is weighing heavily on your heart, you need to let it go. This person, honestly, I and I, no, I don't hate to say it. I'm going to say exactly. They got exactly what they deserved. If this has not happened yet for you, this person is going to get exactly what they deserve. Somebody here was trying to take you out. They may have been using spell work to do it, but somebody here was trying to take you out. Judging your spiritual and religious choices. This person wanted to say that you were, look, karma's a bitch, yeah. This person was constantly sending you the evil eye. It's something about your life, your lifestyle, your choices or whatever. This person had a problem with it and they decided to spiritually attack you. Mm. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, the will of fortune. You have a new connection that's coming in. And a lot of you, the reason why this person started attacking you so bad is because of this new connection that you have coming in or the fact that you're already in a new connection. This person took action to try and sacrifice you because they've been spiritually spying into your life. This person is completely obsessed. But this person with the king of cups... Scorpio energy and the devil, this person has very, very dark, dark obsessions. And they hide this. This person hides the fact that they are extremely obsessive like this. This person has some very, very dark fat. Yep, look, the moon. This person, they do everything in the you would never know. Yep, the hermit. Oh yeah, this person here, the honey, they've been getting away, meditating, 
going to various rituals, all kinds of stuff. And it's all because you decided to turn the page on this connection and to move in a different direction to free yourself. So they're upset about it. Now this person, once again, King of Cups. This person is in regret now. They're discontent and bored and probably worried too because they thought that they were going to have you stuck and bound. But the Queen of Swords is here. You went into action to protect yourself and whatever you've already built. And you still have a new offer that's coming in. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups. Some of you, you're realizing who you are spiritually too. You're awakening and you know the importance of you calling on justice to be served. For you, your counterpart, your friends, your family, your loved ones. That's what I'm talking about as far as being a healer. You being a healer, you being a light worker, you having gifts and abilities. It's not about necessarily you being, you know, somebody with a platform talking to everybody. Can you first protect your own family? This person was coming for you and your closest friends, family, and loved ones. You got to protect them before you protect anybody on the outside. This person here is trying to literally attack anybody that comes anywhere around you because they want you in isolation. So, yeah, the judgment card here, you have to call judgment to go ahead now and target them the same way that they targeted you. And I've talk, I have a reading where I say you need to go to hell and ask for the devil by his name. And don't be afraid to press the big red button. You've mastered yourself enough now. It reminds me of another reading I did about taking the training wheels off. You have the power and the authority to, to get rid of this person. And when I say get rid of them, you take that however it resonates for you in your situation. You can get rid of this person. This person has been spiritually bullying you and trying to make you think that they're stronger than you and you can't get rid of them. This is definitely a person I feel that you met early in your journey. It could be a parental figure or somebody, but somebody here feels like they have power and authority over you, that they, they're stronger than you. But no, you actually have the power. You can destroy this person. But this person wanted to mentally disturb you and make you think that you were helpless. No. There's nothing helpless about you. You can take this person out with one shot.